So you're looking for a great honeymoon spot, or maybe just a dope place to go relax with Bay. How about pristine white powder beaches with crystal blue water, complete with all the luxurious amenities? Look no further than Couples in the Grill, Jamaica. Welcome to Abroad with the Burrells, a channel for travelers by travelers. I'm Coleman. And I'm Jamie. Don't forget to subscribe. It only takes a second and you'll stay caught up on all of our newest content and wonderful locations that we visit throughout the world. Today we're discussing Couples Nook Grill, Jamaica, a beautiful resort located right along the pristine sand beaches of Negril. It is an all-inclusive resort and one of the most beautiful things about it is it's couples only. Mm -hmm. So you're there with Bay, and you're without the Bay Bays. <laughs> it really had all the amenities that you could ask for, okay? It had a pool, of course, with a poolside bar. You could swim right up to it, get your drink, hang in the pool all day if you wanted to. What's up, Toronto? <laughs> <laughs> you guys beat us out here today. That was a nice Olympic dive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been recording. About two all, seconds. All that action, I just recorded. <laughs> all right, kiss and make up. Oh. Easy, easy access to the beach. Literally, it's right on the Seven Mile Beach in Jamaica. It also had basketball courts and a gym. Literally everything you could ask for. Five different restaurants. So once we got there, we were set. And like Coleman said, all inclusive. So the beauty in that is you pay your ticket to get there and you don't have to worry about anything else. So we're going to cut this section into three different categories. One, the free activities that are included just by staying at the resort. There's also activities that you can pay for, which you can access through the resort, but you do have to pay an additional cost. And then just some general things that we highly recommend that we really, really enjoyed doing while we were there. Among some of the free activities that you'll find on the resort are water skiing, do paddle boarding. You can do snorkeling, day or night. Volleyball, right there on the beach. Tournaments, you can sign up for basketball tournaments, table tennis tournaments, all types of things to get those competitive juices flowing. One of the other free activities that's really cool that we really enjoyed were the several cooking classes that they provide. They give you a schedule when you first get there so you kind of have an idea of when these things are gonna take place and they'll show you how to make traditional Jamaican cuisine. So it was really cool at the end, they give you a printout of the recipe so you can take it home and recreate it in your own kitchen. And who doesn't love a catamaran? A nice, as they call it, booze cruise, where you get to hop on the boat with fellow guests in the resort and they take you around uh, the beautiful island of Jamaica, you know, within the region. And also on the catamaran, open bar, um, take all the drinks you want. They dock the boat next to a cave and they even allow you to go out and go for a swim. Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, I do. Right, I'm gonna follow you. Yes. When we get back to work, <laughs> I can look at all of my tricks. You tell me about this. For sure. I'm loving this. For sure. Okay, jump up. Okay, jump yeah. up, you guys, go. What? I got that. <laughs> Yay, Mary Life! It's all good! Yay. In the open ocean! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and there is a water slide that you can go right into the ocean. So it was fun. Yes. It was really fun. A lot of fun. Go, Becca! Yeah. Don't, you guys will all meet in one day. 
Look out for the bat spacing. Red rim. Air respect. Assassin's Creed, yo. This guy's Assassin's Creed right now, yo. How do you climb from there? Yo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Two! Coming up on the cave now, guys. Here we go. Hey! What's cooking, good looking? Good looking? And funny story. <laughs> story time! <laughs> We're having a good old time, and we decided to swim back deep to the back portion of the cave. And uh, we are taking our time, and lo and behold, we look up and look around, and it's just Jamie and I and one other couple back in the cave by ourselves. Oh my goodness. Good job, guys. You made it. Woo. You made it. There's a dead body. <laughs> Is there really? <laughs> I was like, whoa. All right, time to head back to the boat. All right. We are jumping in. Be careful. Everyone else had already swam back to the boat, <laughs> had already got gotten onto the boat, and they were pulling up anchor and getting ready to leave. We're late. We're late. We're late. It's a very important date. Don't leave us, boat. Yeah, thankfully one of the couples we had become friends with were like, wait, Jamie and Coleman are still in the water. They're still out there. So, you know, it's not like they're taking attendance, right? So we thank God for Becca and Mike because they made sure we didn't get left behind. They saved us <laughs> from having a movie made about us, you know, Deep Blue Sea Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One of the other really cool activities that they offer there, totally included, is casino night. The way it works is throughout your stay, you will earn funny money. So it's fake money that you can earn on different activities that you do throughout. If you attend a cooking class or you play certain games. Or uh, win a tournament. Yes. they Like will I did. What'd Just, you win? Uh, the ping pong. Oh yeah, that's right. Smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Side note on that, a lot of our friends that we met that left before us, they never spent their funny money, so they gave it to us, so we were like balling while we were there. Once you earn your funny money, you go to casino night, and you will earn more funny money as you win during the casino games. All right, so guys, everybody knows how to play Blaja, right? So here are the rules, they're my rules. The only thing I don't play here is Insurance. There's no Geico. There's no Affleck. There's no That's State right. Farm. It's all progressive. <laughs> yeah. Are you buying all the drinks if the table wins? No. Um, yeah, I think I think can accommodate that. Make this Stop fake money. money. Yeah. Make this fake money. Funny money. Okay, new hand. I got 14. Jamie's got 14. Same Z's. Bear's looking good. Hit me. Oh, yeah, I busted. You got, you got that on the camera. Man! <laughs> you better turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. taking it to one Go ahead, go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, YOLO. That's 18. He's got a score. got 18. I gotta stay at 11, because this could be 11. Yeah, you gotta stay. Yeah, you won. Yeah, you won. Yeah. Yeah, you won. Yeah. YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. Hey. 21. 21, yeah, give her her money. My money. Yeah, oh, and she wins. 21. <laughs> Congratulations. I had it in my way. <laughs> <laughs> now, if only this was real money. I know, right? We're trying to win our kids some souvenirs. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, Jamie has a chance to win. Now, She's in good position yeah. here. She's sitting on 20. Yeah. Dealer. Yeah. Can you get a waiter? Uh, Can you get a waiter? Dealer bus. Waiter. <laughs> Jamie wins. But then at the end of the night, they do a huge raffle. Just for $100 million, they're $100 for the, the 
And so you can win things like bottles of rum that's native to Jamaica. You can win different um, items of clothing, clothing and bags and wood carvings and just really cool things that Jamaica offers. Also on the resort, they have access to music and dancing. And we highly recommend going to the piano bar there. Every night they have different themes. They may have an 80s themed music night or sort of a country western night, a hip hop night, 50s night, whatever type of music you like. We were there almost every night. We'd go to dinner, go back to the room, touch up, freshen up, and then we're out dancing. Go in there, hang out with your significant other, hit the dance floor, cut a rug, have a good time. <laughs> So in one of the main dining areas called the Cassava Terrace, they have some sort of live music yes. or performance. And it was just really, really cool. Nice way to unwind. They had Jamaican bands playing. They had different dances going on. We went there a couple times and we really, really enjoyed that as well. Yep, so take advantage of those shows and they have all different types for you. Like we mentioned in the beginning, on the resort there are five main dining areas. The first one we're gonna mention is what I just mentioned to you is the Cassava Terrace. So the Cassava Terrace is the main dining area and they serve buffet style. So there's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffet. We typically hit that up for breakfast. Great food. Can't complain. Mm -hmm. Breakfast with the girls. <laughs> the second restaurant to mention is the Beach Grill Heliconia. And that is a open air restaurant. They offer lunch and dinner. And it's at that location that they'll have a special lobster night once a week. My favorite dish at the Beach Grill Heliconia was the jerk chicken that they served every day at lunch. And I promise you, I ate that every day. Third restaurant we're gonna mention is Lychee. Lychee was Asian based. Here's our restaurant. Lychee. Lychee, let's hop on in. We have a shrimp soup in a coconut broth. It's delicious. So stop recording so I can eat. Great sushi, just really Asian dishes. So if you're in the mood, definitely go there. And if you're more in the mood for something a little more formal or some fine dining, then they have access to a restaurant called Otahiti, named after the Jamaican Otahiti apple. It's a type of fruit native there. Reservations are required. Make sure you make reservations in advance. There is a dress code there, but it is a nice fine dining experience. And of course it is all included. Now, in addition to those throughout the day, there is a fruit and veggie bar that you can access near the pool area. So that was kind of your go-to if you were looking for something quick. And a soft serve ice cream machine. <laughs> Just saying. So, in addition to the many restaurants you need to try, 
There are also two signature drinks that are served. And they encourage every guest on the resort to try these before you leave. Honestly speaking. It's, it's a rite of passage. They don't taste very good. Of course not. First one, it's called the Bob Marley. It is made of three alcohols. They separate as they are poured into the glass, but when you put a straw in, you drink them from the bottom up. Second drink is called the Roaring Lion. This drink is a little dangerous, okay? Ugh. They only give you about that much in the cup. It is clear, clear, crystal clear, and it is stronger than ever. It's gotta be like 150 proof bathtub distilled. <laughs> it's like the Jamaican version of moonshine. So we were Disgusting. introduced to the Roaring Lion on the catamaran. One and done. That that's was all it. you need. That, that was all. That's all you okay. know. Without a doubt, our favorite free activity was scuba diving. And that was just incredible. We were we are not divers. We had never been scuba diving before. It's something that we really wanted to do, and they offer that all included for free. Now you do have the option of paying. If you do the paid version, you become certified. They offer full certification through the resort, which was pretty awesome. Jamie and I don't dive frequently enough, so we went for the free option and we learned scuba diving for the day. I think it was four to six Four hour, hour training. Four hour, four hour training, training course. And then from there we went into the ocean. We went about 30 feet down. Yeah. So one of the most amazing experiences either of us had had. To learn more about our scuba scuba diving experience, you can look at our eight mind-blowing experiences in all of our travels to see that a little bit clearer. Yeah. So in addition to all the free activities that are included, there's also activities that you can pay for. One of them, scuba diving like Coleman mentioned. Another one that we chose to do was a private beach dinner. It was so romantic. We were there for our honeymoon. We were ready to splurge. So Coleman treated me to a beautiful, romantic, private dinner for two <laughs> on the beach. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. All right, we go to a slow, wonderful evening. Let us go. Great. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for taking us. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> The waitress comes to your door with a tray, bottle of champagne, and two glasses. She escorts you down to your private dinner. There's rose petals and candles and wine and champagne and- More food and drink that you can possibly <laughs> oh, consume. We, so when we were signing up for it, they asked us, okay, you get a free bottle of wine. Do you want red or white? I was like, well, I probably will want red. And he's like, I think I might want white. They're like, we'll give you one of each. So. <laughs> You know, of course we didn't finish them, but they were there throughout the night. And so they um, gave us menus with our names typed on them yeah. and just handcrafted yeah. night First for class us. experience all the way through. It was incredible. Yeah. So if you are going to decide to pay for anything, that is something that we strongly recommend. As to be expected with any resort, they do offer spa services and massages as well. I know there are beachside massages that you can tap into if you so choose. They also offer photo shoots. Cool thing for us, because it was our honeymoon, the resort offered us a free $250 voucher to spend on any paid activity that we chose. And one of the things that we chose was to spend it on the photo shoot and it gave us pictures that will last us a lifetime. Yes. Another activity they do offer, but you will have to pay for, is to take the shuttle out to Rick's Cafe. Now Rick's Cafe is a cliffside bar. They offer cliff jumping, restaurant, drink, and views. Great place to see the sunset. You do have to pay for the shuttle to transport you out there and back, but then once you're there, you would have to pay for dinner and whatever you drink. We went out there, we had already eaten, so we didn't do much but cliff jump, and if you wanna see more of that, check out our video on mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> mind blown activity. Another paid activity that is available to you, this activity is not necessarily on the property. But it's not far. There is a parasailing booth 
that you have access to. We we'll let you guys get a deal for 120 bucks for two. Would you leave off the boat to land on the boat? And if you have a digital camera, you could bring it, leave it on the boat, and the guys on the boat take photo for you. If you're on Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, or Twitter, or Snapchat, <laughs> you can show your friends back home that you went parasailing in Jamaica. Jamaica is not somewhere where you come and lie down on the beach. It's to do fun and adventurous things. Things that you never do before, things you think you wouldn't do. Today is a good day. And we did it, and we loved it. Oh man, so I was so excited for it. Junior, what's up, man? All right. Get in the boat, I start freaking out. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I was so nervous. That's Jamie signing the waiver. Nervous subsided and I had a blast, but I don't know what happened to me. Yeah, it was it was crazy. <laughs> Now, if you're on the resort, they offer great food and we'll get to that a little bit later. But here's a little bonus. If you leave the resort, walk out to the beachhead, make a right, walk up the beach, ask anyone in the resort, they'll tell you all about it. There is a little bitty sort of beachside restaurant owned and operated by Jamaican locals called Sorry, you wouldn't even refer to it as a restaurant. No, you really you. wouldn't. No, it's more like a... A barbecue uh, pit? Yeah, like a barbecue pit, yeah. <laughs> About as authentic as it gets. It's called the Office of Nature, and it's great. It's a must-do if you're staying at the resort here in the grill. Walk there, and along the beachhead, they have fresh lobster right there in the water. They allow you to go right up to the water. They're caged in like a little wooden cage. You can pick the lobster you want, those guys go in there, they grab the lobster out of the water, they butcher it, chop it up, clean prepare it. it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> butcher that thing. <laughs> they prepare it for you, clean it right in front of you, dress it out, and then of course they put it on the grill right in front of you and cook it, season it up, the spices and the herbs and the smokes, you're smelling it all, it's fantastic. It, it doesn't get much fresher than that. It doesn't and they said it before you and you eat and it was great and we just enjoyed it. Real fresh lobster. Yum. All done, ready to go. Office of Nature. Fresh lobster right here on the coastline in Jamaica. Beautiful. So the last must do that we have and probably one of the most important is talk to and get to know the other guests and also the staff. We often describe it as like adult camp. You know, you kind yeah. of feel like you're at <laughs> camp, you're seeing the same people over and over, you're like, hey, I know you. Yeah. We became friends with several of the other guests, continue to keep in touch with them to this day. Shout out to Big Tom and Melissa. And Mike and Becca. And Erica and Josh. And Mike and Crystal. All right, we are boarding the boat. <laughs> Watch the bag. I got it. Up. Oh. All right, here we go. We are boarding the catamaran. Oh! We hit it off right away with a few of the entertainment team staff members. So Ballard, 
Ricardo, Kino, and Sonia. All the homies. They were so amazing yep. and they just made you feel right at home. This is my this is my good friend Rostin. He's gonna give us the old time talk. Yes, man. You know where you're there? Jamaica. Oh well, well yeah, Jamaica. But this is the capital of Earth, man. This uh, is the capital of Earth. So we ask about that. The capital you know? of Earth. Earth. Yeah, this is where it's at. Jamaica, <laughs> capital of Earth. Yo, yo, all right, man. We're nice, we're nice. Everything ready, man. We're Chris and Corey, man. Everything nice. Everything. Jamie's Chris. getting a lesson yeah. in uh, Patois, which is a Jamaican Everything. slang. Everything. She's failing Everything. miserably. Everything. Please. Everything. All right, everything up. Everything up. Oh. Everything up. Everything up. Everything up. Everything up. Everything up. You still sound like you're White. saying everything up. Everything yeah, that's up. Everything up. All right, everything, Chris. Now find one. I'm gonna find one that is gonna make you yeah feel understand. better about feel myself. Better. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah man. Yeah man. Uh, so I'll be like. Is that a little better? Yeah. So I'll be like. Jimmy, you good? Yeah man. All right. <laughs> They're just incredible people. Incredible, especially the the staff. You learn so much about the culture and what you know what's going on in Jamaica outside of this luxurious resort right. and. It was just such a humbling experience and overall just an amazing time. Also, if you're there, make sure you say hello to Donovan. Yes. Any of you who are couples Negro regulars, you know who Donovan is. Donovan is a <laughs> local legend in Negro Jamaica and he often frequents the resort and he stands on the beach side with his guitar and plays and serenades all of the guests. Okay. When we were there, he was such a staple that guests would bring him strings for his guitar from whatever country they came from to visit. And I think when we were there, it was actually the first week where he, the resort actually hired him on to play in the piano bar. Mm -hmm. So if he's still there, make sure you get to meet him and say hello to him. He's just a, a sweet, sweet, wonderful man. <laughs> okay, my biggest thing are the mosquitoes and the sand flies. Look at these sand bugs, man. They just lit us up, lit us up. And I would say me more than you even. And when you're spraying bug spray on you and Sun sunblock, yeah. I mean, I just felt very sticky, so. Just layers of yes. bug spray and sunblock and it didn't even really help. No, the mosquitoes, I wouldn't even say were as bad as the sand flies, okay? So one of the other reasons that we liked being at the pool more was because when you're on the beach, you're really enjoying it, but about you know, 15 minutes in, we're just, just eaten alive buffets. by these sand flies. And so some people don't have as much trouble with them. We have a really hard time with them. They like that California blood. Yeah, maybe I'm too sweet. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Another thing to be aware of is remember you are in a tropical climate. There's always the chance of inclement weather. So you can expect rainstorms and wind storms and those types of things and sometimes those things can ruin planned activity and a lot of times these weather conditions can come out of nowhere mm -hmm. you'll be sitting and enjoying a beautiful sunny day and in an instant a dark cloud will roll in and you'll be experiencing a mini rainstorm and an hour later it'll be clear and back to normal but your planned activity may be canceled so just be ready for that Tropical storm. Off our balcony. Hear the thunder. Oh. 
Hi. We just want to point out that you would probably only need about a week max spent there. Um, we were there on our honeymoon. We wanted to go big, so we did 11 days. And after about a week, we noticed that the events started to repeat themselves. The menu started to repeat. Um, the guests were changing in and out. So a lot of the people we had become very close with were now gone. Yeah. Um, but a really about a week, you know, you're not going off and seeing these huge monuments and museums. You know, you're just chilling, you're relaxing, you're by the pool. Now we could do that forever, but in terms of um, getting the most out yeah, of your yeah. experience and yeah, the novelty of it, everything does start to repeat after about a week. So that's gonna do it for our review of Couples in the Grill Jamaica. We hope that you guys make your way out there if you're looking for a romantic getaway with you and your SO. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and also subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and that bell for all notifications. As we always say, that traveling is not just about the destination, but of course, who you share it with. From our family, the Burrells, to yours, as always, we would like to encourage you guys to get out there, make it happen. And have fun. And have fun, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Come in from the gym and housekeeping's come in and left us <laughs> a nice towel in the shape of a swan. And they even took Jamie's sunglasses, which were on the, on nice. the nightstand. And... <laughs> And uh, put them on the towel. Pretty dope.